Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do. I'm back with a new Will I Buy It? This is my series that I post on Wednesdays where I chat with you over all of the new makeup releases and give my thoughts on them. I will link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist and let's go ahead and get started. All right, hi, hello, welcome. Tis I, Samantha. I missed last week. I missed last week's Will I Buy It? video. That is only the second time that that's ever happened in like the four or five years that I've been posting the Will I Buy It's on a Wednesday. Um, I did put something on my community tab and I put something on my Instagram stories saying that that was probably going to happen. Um, last Tuesday, September 7th would have been my eight year wedding anniversary. <laughs> and obviously it's still upsetting to me. <laughs> so I just needed to take some time off and I didn't get out of bed on Monday and Tuesday I just was in a fog the entire day um, and so I just I couldn't film I just couldn't film last week so that was a big bummer for me it's hard to pre-film for the will I buy it videos because obviously timing wise and a lot of times I don't know until Monday or Tuesday like have a bunch of releases to chat about so, um, you know, I was sad that I had to miss it, but I also knew that my mental health and taking care of myself was more important. So for this week's video, it's probably going to be a long one as I've been going through and screenshotting everything. I'm like, oh boy, we are in for a treat with this video. So, uh, thank you so much for all of the kind comments. I did post a life update video on, I think it went up on Sunday. Um, so I have a little life update video of how I'm doing, you know, since the divorce and the one year anniversary and all of those things. So if you haven't seen it, I can link it. And when I say that I have been flooded <laughs> with your responses, the video has well over a thousand comments on it. My DMs, my emails um, from you guys giving your support and man, I just, it's so appreciated. <laughs> it's so appreciated. So thank you to everyone who's been being so kind because it has been just a challenging time. So I was super disappointed to have to miss last week, but that means we have an extra long will I buy it for this week. So to jump into my Vegas OOTD today, I just have on this vest thing. I don't know. I've literally had this since like freshman year of college. I don't know. It usually comes with a belt. The belt is long gone. I don't know where that went, but it's fine. And then I just have on my pink denim shorts. Fun fact, I lost my denim shorts. So I was really excited when I bought these shorts because it meant I had three pairs of shorts. I'm down to two again. How I lost shorts is beyond me, my friends, but uh, there we go. There we have it. Um, I didn't do filming on this look, but I do link all of my makeup down below. I'm just kind of in a rush today. Um, I'm going out to dinner tonight and to a show. I have to pick up areas from daycare. So I'm just a little bit rushed, hoping to film two videos today and also get this one edited before I leave. So have a lot going on, but I have the retro palette from Natasha Denona, which I did use in my life update video. And then also um, the new Charlotte Tilbury palette and some new lips from Charlotte Tilbury. I have a lip swatch video on my Instagram. And again, I did use the Charlotte palette in that life update video so but i'll link all of my makeup in the description box as well as anything i'm talking about and of course trend mood one who i do read from her account let's see let's see speaking of charlotte let's start off there we are gonna have some holiday releases i might would you like to see a separate holiday video uh i'm thinking about maybe doing like a holiday roundup video i mean i might have to do like a few different parts of them but we are starting to get some holiday in and when it comes especially to like the different sets that could definitely make the will i buy it's much much longer so i was thinking of maybe separating them out but some of the bigger holiday releases keeping in here uh like for example from charlotte tilbury she has a new eyeshadow palette the instant eye palette smoky eyes are forever for holiday 2021 includes 12 shades with different finishes right now i just see coming soon usually these palettes retail for 75 dollars, so that is what i am assuming here these palettes from Charlotte, I don't usually lose my mind over. Typically, Charlotte eyeshadows is not something that I lose my mind over. I, um, her, her quads, like the eye quads, I do like those. And it's like with these ones, 
I like some of them that I have, like one of the most recent Pillow Talk ones maybe. I actually really did like that one, but I do think they're pretty pricey at $75. I can't quite justify that price tag. This one looks really pretty, like the swatches look really pretty. Some of these glittery, um, shimmery shades, like those do look nice. Would it be something that I would buy myself? I really don't think so. I do get some PR from Charlotte, so if I happen to get it, you know, I would love to do some looks with it. I'm just not sure if I would. But again, knowing that it's 75, I just, I just think that's kind of a lot. So probably something that, um, that I can skip over. And then from Anastasia, we have, I think that this was just announced. I have so many things to talk about. From Anastasia for holiday 2021, we have a new eyeshadow palette, includes 12 shades. Right now I just see coming soon. Looks like we have um, some face shades in here also. I don't know, I'm not really losing my mind over this one. Um, you know, it almost kind of looks like a little bit of Mod Ren vibes. I don't, and then we have the the face shades. I don't know. I'm just uh, not quite feeling this one. I'm feeling a little bit like uninspired when I look at the photo. Like when I saw it, I was just like, um, okay, probably not something that I need. Curious to see like what the price will be on it, but I just feel kind of like m meh, meh when I look at it. Uh, we have a new collection coming from Colourpop. This is the Plush Like Me Collection, 90s inspired. So we have an eyeshadow palette, we have blush sticks, luxe blur lipsticks, lippy pencils, and also from Soul, their shimmering body powder will be available September 16th. Again, it's just another one that I just kind of feel a little bit uninspired by. Like I, I don't know, I feel like maybe it reminds me of another collection, which I feel like I say that a lot with Colourpop, like maybe their wine collection, if we remember that one. Nothing really jumps out at me from here. Nothing that I'm like, I, I think that I absolutely need that one. We also have some new lip products from ColourPop. This is, I keep like, one. I'm like, did I scoot over far enough? <laughs> that's what I'm, if you see me looking at the viewfinder, that's what I'm trying to make sure of. I'm still uh, a little rusty from taking a week off from filming. Okay, it was a little, a little rusty. But we have the new Fresh Lips, the Lip Cream, online at ColourPop. This is a moisturizing liquid lipstick to deliver comfortable color with a creamy matte finish for ultra smooth kissable lips. These are gonna be $8 each. ColourPop usually doesn't have my favorite, favorite lips. Uh, my favorite lip formulas. This one, a liquid lipstick, creamy matte. Mm, I don't know. I'm still trying their uh, lip stains, their new lip stains. I'm still trying those out to be able to review them and I'm just kind of like, they're okay. Like that's kind of what I feel about ColourPop lips. So can't say I'm super interested in that one. Fenty Beauty has quite a few new releases. Uh, I know that I've talked about a couple of them. They're um, the Bomb Posse Mega Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. That one's going to be $48. I mentioned that two weeks ago. I said I wasn't super interested. The Diamond Bomb Triple Drip All Over Diamond Veil Palette. This is $42 and it has um, Fenty Glow, Fussy, and Hot Chocolate, the highlighters. Not really interested in a highlighting palette. I just would not use that. There's also the Fly Liner, Liquid Eyeliner, New Shade, and Big Truffle, Big Truffle, which is a silky satin chocolate brown shade. That is $22. I'm not a huge liquid liner person, and I, I have enough in my collection, so that would be a no for me. And then we have new shades in the Gloss Bomb Heat Universal Lip Luminizer and Plumper. These are $22, so we have Fenty Glow, Fussy, and Hot Chocolate. Um, Again, just not something that I feel like I need at the moment. But Fenty's really like doing the most right now. Like they are, they are coming out. Uh, they're coming out with a lot. I see. I'm gonna throw up this photo here. Um, I just really want to touch on this. We, looks like we have a new palette coming from Natasha Denona. Really don't have much. Just thought I would include it just to say that like I'm interested. I'm keeping an eye on it. Um, it's a five pan palette. I mean, I, I would I would give that a shot. I, I would give that a shot. I can't tell if it's a mini from the photo. I think it's a, is it a mini or if, is it like the larger five pan? I can't quite tell from here. We think maybe a new brush is coming too. So I'll be curious about that. Um, again, but some of these like holiday sets, I think I typically do a separate holiday style video, um, but just wanted to mention that one from Natasha that I see it. I see you.
have a new mascara coming up from Patrick Ta Beauty. This is the Major Volume Mascara. Intensely black, ultra, ultra dramatic mascara that maximizes your lashes. And this is going to be $29, available on September 9th. I would totally try this out. I just got the new one from Rare Beauty, which is what I'm wearing today. And I use it in that life update video. It is freaking good, okay? That's a really nice mascara. So I like to test out new mascara. So I would totally try this one from Patrick Ta. I'm meaning to do a shop with me. I am excited to say that I did get new tires. Where was I telling? Oh yeah, it was in my last vlog. I was saying that I had an issue with one of my tires. I did get all four new tires. Thank you so much. Got all four. Um, so I am now good to go driving my car once again, not being afraid my tire is gonna blow out on the Vegas freeway. So that's good. So I will be doing a shop with me. I'm hoping to get to a Sephora this week. I'm interested in a few things from Patrick Ta and now I might throw in this mascara because I was gonna get the Rare Beauty mascara and then I got it in PR. So I might just grab this one from Patrick Ta. From Patrick Star in his brand One Size, we have new setting sprays. On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray for $30 or $15 for a mini. There's also the Preserve the Serve Luminous Setting Spray for $30. These are going to be uh, available September 10th, which is already passed. A lot of these things are probably already going to pass. I don't feel like I need a new setting spray right now. I just got this new one from Lawless Beauty, and this is the one that I am currently testing out, and then I have some of my favorites in my collection. So, uh, I mean, I like setting sprays, and I use setting sprays you know, pretty much every time that I do my makeup, but... I think I can pass on those. Available now from Milk. This is their new Bionic Liquid Blush by Milk Makeup. A liquid blush that can be blended sheer or layered for more intense payoff. These are gonna be $20 each. I might grab this. Um, like the shade Infinity, that mauve. Yeah, I might grab that one. I like to try blushes. Uh, I like to try liquid blushes. I'd be down to pick that one up. For, I like a lot from Milk Makeup. So, Oh, and they also have another new release coming. This is a new addition to the Hydro Grip family. This is the Hydro Grip Eyeshadow and Concealer Primer. An invisible hydrating primer, smooth skin, and locks down color to prevent creasing, fading, and smudging. So this is going to be $24, and it'll be available now. Provides a soft focus effect around the eye area. You know, I'm interested where it says eyeshadow and concealer primer because I'm just really not a fan of my under eyes as of recently. Um, I feel like I'm getting closer to being able to do micro needling, like getting my acne under control so I can do micro needling, which some people have, have said that it can help with like under eye wrinkles um, versus doing something like a filler or Botox or like something like that. But I'm wondering like how it says provides a soft focus factor on the eye area. like. I don't know, kind of care, like, my mind's kind of racing, I'm like, should I grab this one also? I mean, I really do enjoy the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, I've recommended that one quite a bit. I don't use eye primers all that much, but something about this one, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I could see, maybe I could give it a try. Curious about that. Ooh, let's see, looks like we have new brow pencil coming from Lime Crime, the Bushy Brow Pomade Pencil. This is going to be $18. Okay. Um, I don't think that I really need this one. I want to get um, Makeup by Mario, I think, just came out with some brow products, and that's what I was going to pick up from his line. And then I think I just got the ones from Juvia's Place. I just got a package from Juvia's Place, and I want to say the email said it was their brows. And then uh, I also just got the Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. So I'm, I'm pretty decent on brow products at the moment. So I think that I could pass on that one. I see some new blushes from Tom Ford. These are available at Neiman Marcus, the Shade and Illuminate Blush Duos. Oh, these are $90 each. That, that's expensive. How did I not notice the price tag on that earlier? Sheer to medium, buildable, formulated with rice silk powder, $90 each. You know, I was going to say that like, oh, you know, they're really pretty and I like blush duos and I probably don't need them. And then I saw the price tag and I'm like, never mind. I definitely don't need them. I mean, I know Tom Ford is expensive, but let's say it together. She. It's going to be a no for me. For holiday from Givenchy, their collection is available at Saks. I see some lipsticks for $38. There's also an eyeshadow palette for $65 and the Prism Libre Highlighter for $46. Givenchy isn't a makeup brand that really sticks out to me all that much. Um, so nothing really jumps out at me. Like the palette doesn't do anything for me. I'm just kind of like, 
meh on that one. And then from Gucci, this is available at Selfridge, the new Cushion Debut Refillable Foundation with SPF 22, designed to deliver up to 24 hour hydration. It's a lightweight foundation, also gives you SPF coverage. It is $56. I only see six shades, like that's kind of horrendous. That's actually genuinely embarrassing. Okay, I'm like scared to look at the comments. That piece of toast has a better shade range. <laughs> I don't care what's funnier, the shade range or the toast. <laughs> oh my, honestly, that's gonna be a no for me. I mean, okay, let's move on. Oh look, more brow products. Here we go. From Rare Beauty, the new Brow Harmony Shape and Fill Duo. Waterproof brow putty that softly shapes and fills in brows for a natural look. This is going to be $24 is available now. Um, like I said, I, I'm pretty good on brow products and this is definitely not like my go-to. Like even using the swipe up from Persona, I'm like terrified every time I use it. I'm like, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm much more just into my pencils. Uh, so, you know, I can skip over that one. And like I said, I want to grab the Makeup by Mario. The tags. The tags that I got on this one. Y'all. So we have a new collection and a new collab from Bobbi Brown and Monopoly. So it includes lipsticks, highlighting powders, eyeshadow palettes, powder, soothing, cleansing oil, and moisturizer coming soon. Right now I see China exclusive. Trendwood said we'll update if that changes. So that's interesting. Um, with the people saying, do I know Monopoly? Yes, I know Monopoly. I love games. I love game night. Um, I just bought a new game for our complex here. I can't wait till it comes in. I got a little card game for the complex. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like I love games. I would always like spearhead game nights in Iowa. I love them. So yes, I definitely know Monopoly. Am I good at Monopoly? Cherry's kind of out on that one, but I do know Monopoly. This is a very strange collaboration for like I wouldn't have thought Bobby like I would have thought like makeup revolution <laughs> color pop you know like I, I would not have thought Bobby Brown because they seem like such kind of like that old school like they have their own I like the word that's coming to my mind is like classy aesthetic but like I don't I just keep thinking like old school um, so this is a little bit surprising to me. I can't say that anything really calls out to me and you know, I, like with it being a China exclusive, I don't even know if I could get it even if I wanted it to, but I, it just, the whole thing just came, seems a little bit odd to me, but you know. Uh, next up from Kaleidos, we have the Apple Collection. This includes eight Cloud Lab lip clay new shades and a lip mask, an ornament stone and a fan. The full collection is $89. And then it looks like we have a couple different um, sets. Four lip clays for $35 or $12 each. Then there's the Mercy Vault, again, $35 or $12 each. The Apple Glaze Softening Lip Mask is a moisturizing lip mask, and this is gonna be available on September 9th. Okay, so, um, I mean, I like trying out lip products. The lip mask I probably don't need. I don't think I've tried any lip products from Kaleidos. I think I've just done their eyeshadows and highlights. I'm pretty sure. I think maybe I got an email about getting this in PR. I can't quite recall and I haven't gotten a package from Kaleidos yet. If it does come, I would love to like try them out and try the formula, but otherwise I don't think it's something that I would need to go buy. I did just get the four new lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. I have uh, runway royalty on my lips today and I'm like, obsessed with every shade. So I feel like I'm gonna be wearing these for a very long time, but that's available now from Kaleidos. Uh, let's see, what else do we have from Armani Beauty, available at Selfridge. This is the new exclusive Eyes to Kill Centrico eyeshadow palette. Oh my great, I can't even speak at some of these prices, good gracious. This, 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 is 117 doll hairs. You know how many doll hairs that is? 117. Use the eye brush to apply shades on your eyelids and a blush brush to apply the rosy shade on the cheeks, your fingertips to apply the light shimmery shades on the high points as a highlighter. I can't get down with that sickness. I just can't. 
I mean, I don't know. And my first thought was like, eh, it's like pretty and like kind of interesting looking, but probably not for me. And then looking at the price, I'm like, wow. It's gonna be a no for me, my friends. It's gonna be a no for me. I have no idea why I'm seeing Too Faced showing their spring 22, 2022 collection. Can we stop? Like we haven't, like we don't even have the holiday releases out yet. Why are we showing spring? No one cares. No one cares. We're talking about spring. We're still in summer. I just can't, I, like I can't handle. I can't handle. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, speaking of game night, this collection is with Hip Dot times game night includes Monopoly money moves palette like what's going on with Monopoly is like is something happening with Monopoly are they trying to make a comeback what are they doing what's my hair doing it's straight today it always kind of freaks me out but there we go so we have that we have the play-doh super color palette and the oh the Ouija board palette or the full collection is $74 this will also be available at Ulta okay that's cute. I like a lot of Hip Dot's collections because they're always a little bit different. Like I said, I love Game Night. I don't really know what Play-Doh has to do with Game Night or I don't know, would I consider Ouija board Game Night? Like, like if there was Sorry, Trouble, ha! Ah! Love those games. Uh, Shoots and Ladders, yeah. Love Shoots and Ladders. Uh, what was the game with the apples and you like pick the apples? Love that one. Or was it cherries? Apples or cherries? I love games, okay? And then as I got older, it turned into like card games. Uno? Mmm. Love me some Uno. Uh, I just, I enjoy game night. But I don't think I really need any of these. Nothing really like speaks to me. We have the next princess in the Best Made Cosmetics collection. This one is going to be Pocahontas. So these are $125 for the limited edition sets. You know, cute artwork on all of these. But like I've been saying, just not something that I'm very interested in myself. From Physicians Formula, we have a new collection, the Butter Buddies. It includes six pressed powders. There's highlighters, blushes, a banana powder, a bronzer, and a mattifying primer. Mattifying powder, sorry, not primer. All I see right now is coming soon. These are cute. These are cute, but I don't know. I feel like with how many they have, it would be pretty hard to work on a lot of people. Because it looks like it's, is it only like one bronzer shade, one blush shade, one banana? Yeah, I'm not sure how well that would work on a lot of people, but it's cute. Not not something that I need for myself. Uh, from Hourglass, this is for Holiday. Their new collection, so we have the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe. The Ambient Lighting Edit Universe Unlocked. Uh, there's also a new Ambient Lighting Palette Volume 3. Okay, so going to be available September 20th and then also September 24th. I see that the, the the ambient lighting palette is supposed to be for medium to deep skin tones. In the photo, it looks promising. I hope that it is because we've been asking Hourglass for this. Um, the other ones just kind of look like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like these people got really excited for them in years past, but now it's like they then they just do the same thing every year and I just find it a little bit hard to get like as excited about them, if you know what I'm saying. So probably not something that I'm going to need for myself. And then from NARS, kind of like speaking of the same thing, part of their holiday 2021 collection, we have the Unwrapped Orgasm Blush Duo gift set, Orgasm and Orgasm X. I see. We have the Pleasure Seeker After Glow Lip Balm gift set, an Unwrapped Mini Eyeshadow gift set, uh, Palette gift set, the Endless Orgasm Mini gift set. Because why have Orgasm X when you could have Endless Orgasm? I'm just trying to get myself demonetized at this point. And then a face palette and another eyeshadow palette coming soon, September and October. Um, you know, not much that really jumps out to me. I do like the NARS Climax Mascara. I see that in a set. I do like those Afterglow Lip Balms. But usually when it comes to their eye and face palettes, it just kind of feels like the same thing. So usually not super interested in those myself. Okay, this collection is also very interesting to me. This new collaboration between Sigma and Cinderella. So we have an eyeshadow palette with 14 shades with a dual ended brush, a cheek duo palette, five brushes, a lip, a lip gloss, and a liquid lipstick will be available September 23rd. Okay, this is cute. Not not one that I saw coming once again with Sigma, but 
I'm really liking the way that those brushes look with the light blue. Like I love Cinderella. The face duo looks really pretty. The eyeshadow palette looks like a lot of fun. I'm very curious about this collection. We don't have like the most most yet to go off of, but I do get PR from Sigma, so I'm really hoping that I get that. I did want to say also, um, because I mentioned in which video was it? I think it was my makeup monthly. I mentioned my Sigma favorite set and at the time that I was filming, it had not sold out and I had said, you know, if it sells out, it's limited edition, so it's not coming back. After filming that video and editing that video, the set actually did sell out, um, but I did talk to the team at Sigma and they said that we can do a restock. It probably won't be for a couple weeks as everything, you know, has to get ready, but they did say that we could do a restock. So I'm really glad about that because I wasn't sure if that would be able to happen, but um, in the next couple weeks, hopefully we will have a restock on the Samantha March favorite set with Sigma Beauty. So I of course will be posting about that when the restock does happen. One of my boxes also for Buy Samantha March has gotten delayed. So I am just still waiting for my other box to come in so I can restock both of the planners that sold out and then that restock will be coming for the brand. So hopefully I have some restock news coming very soon because I would really like for that to happen. <laughs> so, um, so I wanted to mention that, but for this Sigma set, like I'm very curious about this. I'm very excited about it. Um, if I get it in PR, I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of looks with it, but those brushes immediately called to me like right away. So I'm excited for that. And then we have, uh, from Colored Rain, we have new mini eyeshadow palettes. There's four different palettes. Right now I see coming soon. Um, you know, the green one looks nice. But nothing that really jumps out at me all that much. And I just got some of the new like mini quads from Juvia's Place. And then, you know, the Natasha Denona palette. The Super Shocks from ColourPop that I mentioned in my last makeup monthly. So I feel like I'm, I'm pretty good on those. Uh, let's see. From uh, um, Beauty Blender. This is the new Bounce Skin Tint. Have I talked about this? The Always On Radiant Skin Tint is available now. Buildable, long wear, natural radiant finish with light, medium coverage. Texture of a serum, skin benefits, creates a skin-like finish. This is going to be $29. Um, you know, I like trying skin tints. I haven't tried any of Beauty Blender's, like, makeup products. I did just get the Lawless Conceal the Deal, which... This is supposed to be like serum like when it goes on and then it goes to full coverage. I used this in my life update video and the beginning was very rough. I did not know what was going on. It was very strange. In the end, we made it work, but I've been afraid to try it. Like I need to try it on a day where I'm like not gonna go anywhere because I don't know, it was just kind of mm, not sure about that, but I know I need to review it. I don't know, would you like to see a review on this one? Like I said, I haven't tried Beauty Blenders makeup products so i'm not sure but if you'd want to see a review let me know because maybe i could pick that up at my next uh shop with me at sephora and then i see from melt cosmetics they are coming out with the perfectionist ultra precision lip pencils these wood pencils allow you to sharpen to an extreme exact point coming soon also to sephora i do like lip liners do i feel like i need to run and grab these probably not you know i have a lot from charlotte tilbury i have a lot from ColourPop. i have from mac i just got a new one from m cosmetics again i reviewed that in my makeup monthly so I'm, I'm probably good on those. And then from Alamar Cosmetics, we have a new highlight, the Sun Soaked High Shine Highlighters, available in three shades and will be available on September 15th. These all look really pretty. New highlighters are not really calling to me right now, which is, you know, kind of strange. I did just get the one from Melts. Again, reviewed this in my Makeup Monthly. Um, and then I just got the palette from Charlotte Tilbury that has a highlight in there too. So it looks really pretty. I just don't think I need a new one right now. So I'm going to pass on that one. Uh, I did see some beauty news that Drunk Elephant is coming to Ulta Beauty. That kind of surprised me a little bit. I wasn't expecting to see that, but available uh, starting September 26th online and in-store. So that's very cool. I mean, Drunk Elephant is expensive. You're going to be getting a lot of alt points if you are buying your Drunk Elephant products there. So that's exciting to see. And then from Pharmacy, we have some new sets for their holiday season. The Garden Party Clean Green Clean Trio is $42. We also have the Clean Greens Duo for $28 and the Honey Harvest Hydration Kit for $60. I really like Pharmacy Skin Care. I like a lot of their products. I've bought and repurchased a lot of their products. So definitely a good way to be able to try them out would be the sets for holiday time. So I think that is very cool. And then it was also announced that Nikki Tutorials is coming out with her own brand. I'm not shocked to see this at all. This is Nimya. 
I'm not sure I'm saying it correctly. I'm sure she's probably put out a video, but I haven't really been on the internet as much these, these days, so I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but the first launch includes the Burr Burr Cooling Eye Stick for $22. Where it all starts, cream is a moisturizer. Um, that's 30. License to Glow Serum is 37. A setting spray for 25. And then there's also a fan for 15. It will be available September 23rd. I'm sorry, it's a new skincare slash beauty brand, if I didn't say that. Um, you know, I was almost a little bit surprised to first see skincare versus beauty. Because I was thinking maybe like an eyeshadow palette or a highlighter or lips or something like that from Nikki Tutorials. But I think it's interesting to come out with skincare first. Not surprised to see the fan, uh, which I think is really funny. But this is very cool. You know, huge congratulations to her. I saw that she went to the Met Gala and I thought it was very cool, her inspiration behind her outfit and, and the message that she was trying to, to come across. So uh, I think that's really amazing to see. So a huge congratulations to Nikki Tutorials. I'm definitely gonna be watching for the future releases from that. And then also another new makeup brand. This is from Jennifer Aniston. She's coming out with Lola V. So new brand and the first product is the Glossing Detangler. This is a multitasking lightweight spray to help detangle, prime with vegan thermal shield, enhance shine, and protect against damage. And this is going to be $25. So a hair product. Um, not super shocked to see this. I mean, we all know that Jennifer Aniston was like always known for her hair, you know, Rachel and Friends. I'm not super surprised to see her coming out with her own launch. I mean, Jennifer's kind of always been in the mix a little bit of everywhere, you know, since w with her career and everything. So I can't say I'm like super surprised to see this. I think hair is an interesting route to take for sure. Um, do I absolutely need this? Probably not. Do I still want to buy it? For some reason, yeah, I do. I love Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> I just like, you asked me like, was I team Jen or team Angie? I was team... Jen, definitely not Team Brad. Ew. I might end up picking that one up. I don't know if, if it's gonna be available just on their website, but I'm gonna be curious to see what else they come out with. I can't help myself, I'm just being honest. Uh, and then also from Olaplex, we have the new 4P Blonde Enhancer Toning Shampoo. This is an update on the classic number four Bond Maintenance Shampoo. Um, it also now has a purple toner to help keep warm toned hues from your hair. Okay, um, so I do like a lot from Olaplex. You know, with my extensions, I now usually get a lot of my products um, directly from my stylist to make sure that they're extension safe and all of the things. Um, Olaplex still is, like I still use my shampoo and conditioner, my bonding oil. So I don't know, but I absolutely need this. I would definitely run it by my stylist first just to like double check myself, but I don't know if it would help with my issue of getting SPF in my hair and then my hair turning pink. I did just get my extensions moved up and they were able to tone them kind of back because I don't know if you could tell in my last few videos, but I definitely had a lot of pink in my hair and I was like, ugh. <laughs> but you know, I can't not use SPF, okay? Um, it's just like, it's just not gonna happen. Uh, but they were able to get a lot of it out, but I don't know if that would really, if a toning shampoo would really help that. I guess I can run it by my stylist and see, but I'm not gonna purchase it right now. I would want to like make sure it would be a good fit for me, but I do like a lot from Olaplex, so there's a new product from them. After that, that is everything for this week. I know this week was gonna be pretty long after missing last week, but uh, I still wanted to cover all of the new releases that I've seen. Again, let me know if you'd be interested in that separate holiday video, and of course, I would love to hear your comments on all of the new products down below. Again, just a big thank you for your support and for letting me take a week off. I didn't upload for like, what was it like eight days eight or nine days or something like that i didn't upload on youtube i really wasn't posting on instagram i just really you know needed to put myself first and it's it feels so great to have such a supportive community um that had my back during that time so thank you so much i really do appreciate it um that is it though i will see you guys next week if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video